Okay, for this video, I will focus on a long-awaited feature, uh, namely uh, improved text sizing in um, both the pool planning module as well as the agile planning module. I think primarily it has been mentioned in the pool planning module. Uh, and this is a first uh, iteration. Um, we will probably continue uh, with further improvements down the line on more elements. So far, we have focused on those streamline title elements as well as the headers here to make them a little bit more easily visible um, at different zoom levels. So this is the current state. Um, and uh, this is the changes that we have made uh, so far. And I'm going to walk through them uh, one by one and also explain a little bit the reasoning behind some of those changes. So first uh, noticeable thing is if you compare the two is um, the swim lane labels themselves, they jump down a little bit and get a larger text. Um, and here, um, what we have heard from a couple of customers was that um, when looking at the swim lane labels, it was not always clear which uh, timeline the swim lane label belonged to, especially if they are not colored. So uh, we have heard multiple times that the swim lane sitting here, they thought it was part of the top swim lane, not the bottom one. So we wanted to move it down uh, a little bit uh, to overlap, to make that connection a little bit more clear. And we also increased the default text um, so that by default, it's already easier uh, to see that at the normal zoom level. Second element is um, we are now, you can see that here, um, that uh, space is blank. We are now showing the first and the last day of that specific week, as well as the year. We have multiple multi-year projects and uh, people were asking for that information. Um, and this extends to extended weeks as well. Um, we changed that display here also. So um, before, if I open this up, we we're kind of showing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on top, uh, and then the date smaller below. Obviously, Monday to Sunday or whatever your week setup is, is not going to change. So that's actually, in our opinion, the uh, less important information. So we uh, switched that around. We made the day much, much larger now. Um, and that should also make it much easier for people to see where there is a change from, let's say, July to August, which was another request to make the, the month changes as well as the year changes more obvious. Um, so that's kind of the first uh, thing. The last thing that we did is the labels now move outward, so they don't overlap if you move further out. Um, and that is um, kind of helping out with one feature that um, I want to focus on next, and that is behavior while zooming. So one major change that we did is that when I start zooming out, and here is a, a small one uh, for comparison. Um, um, we keep the swim lane labels themselves at the same size that they have. If I do the same thing in the old, you can see that they just shrink with the rest of the content. So now um, swim lane labels stay the same size. And if I zoom out um, all the way, you can see that they are still very large and still very nicely visible. Um, so. Um, Hopefully, that will eliminate uh, the need for um, the yeah, users to add specific nodes uh, to the swim lanes to kind of name them. And what we, of course, kept is the functionality that the swim lanes will always be docked to the side. And because they are growing downward, they will be aligned with the respective swim lane. So they will be more or less sitting on top of the existing swim lane. The other thing that changes with zoom level is um, the information that gets displayed here in the header. So if I zoom back in again here, um, you can see that at the beginning, um, so now we are at 100%, that's the, the initial size. If I start zooming out, there's a first step where the font size increases. Then there is the next one, and at that, uh, step to make space for the additional uh, uh, text that we want to display, we also start hiding the number of tickets and the number of uh, people on that day or in that week. So you see that is gone. And if I continue to go out even further, uh, there's a last uh, step when even the 
um, the additional second line goes away and the text increases once more. So it's definitely much, much easier now to continue to read um, all of the different info here um, on more zoomed out levels. Um, and uh, yeah, we expect that that will make quite a big difference. Um, I am going to say that um, A, we are displaying more information now based on customer requests. B, um, we have to do a little bit more processing while zooming. So there is um, a potential performance impact here. However, I think um, since a lot of customers currently were adding a lot of notes to name the swim lanes, um, that is at least in my opinion, with that new uh, feature, a thing of the past. So if you start deleting all of those nodes, the performance savings from simplifying the workspace by removing those elements should greatly outweigh the additional performance needs. But it's important to remind people that since we have that feature, they should really start deleting those placeholder nodes um, that they were using uh, because they would, weren't able to see where the specific uh, weeks were over what the specific swim lanes were called. Um, so that is one thing that I would like to highlight. Um, and we will evaluate um, that approach, um, kind of this zoom dependent rendering of sizes and we'll then start to apply it to potentially more elements, including for example, the tasks. So we could uh, see similar things where at a specific zoom level, um, we, for example, start hiding um, the, uh, description or we start hiding the number of days and uh, the um, crew indicator um, but instead show a larger version of the description or at a very zoomed out level we might actually um, consider hiding the uh, description altogether because it would be hard to read and we instead render simplified colored blocks to represent only the traits um, so that's something that we will play around with, but we wanted to uh, make sure that um, this is the right approach to take. We actually did three different variants of this uh, while testing. We are quite happy with the current solution, but um, we still want to make sure that we reevaluate it a little bit better before kind of going further with this. Um, so one other thing, you might have briefly noticed it before as well, is because we expect that that will um, require a little bit more uh, well, people will maybe start zooming more uh, as well, and especially with some other functionality uh, around boards. Um, this will, in my opinion, also emphasize the uh, use of overview mode. We have now offered uh, a way to automatically switch into overview mode. So what happens here is um, if you hit a certain limit, um, we will um, kind of show this little indicator here. And if I continue to scroll and it hits the full progress bar, so it's actually very easy if you try it out, you just continue to, to scroll, um, you will zoom out and automatically go into overview mode. Um, if you wanna go back into page mode, you can just start to zoom in um, and it will automatically flip back into page mode. Um, this is very, uh, uh, helpful, especially for our Agile planning module. So I am kind of showing the same thing here. You can see that like with the uh, swim lanes, those labels now stay the same size. We have in uh, introduced a much bigger text here as well. So that also scrolls uh, and grows with, with the zoom level. Um, and, you know, I have those team uh, uh, boards or the, the title areas also show up uh, large as well. But if I continue to zoom out here, um, we actually switch to a different view. So we hide the main labels and instead show just one central board level that has some additional functionality. So one feature that we're introducing for Agile planning is that now in overview mode, you can take those boards and you can move them around in overview mode. Um, we also show um, a warning if workspaces would overlap. We do allow you to drop still, um, but um, then you know, those would be overlapping, including all of the content. You have to pull them apart again. Um, the overlapping might especially happen if you're assuming uh, or if you're expanding weeks, but um, the data won't get mixed up or anything, and it's very easy to then move uh, elements around. 
And the way to get to additional boards like this is if you start hovering over empty pages, uh, in the Agile planning module, you get this plus button. If you hit that, uh, we allow you to create a new board. And we will build uh, additional functionality on top of that uh, in the future. But for now, this is available, uh, again, kind of for evaluation for the Agile planning module and will be available for existing Agile planning modules uh, workspaces as well. So if you have one that you have used before, you will now be able to add additional uh, boards like this. So here, um, I think that that's where the, this automatic transitioning between overview mode and uh, um, page mode really shines. So you kind of zoom out, you make your changes, and then you zoom in again. Um, of course, you can still use the button if you want to. So that is still available. Also in overview mode, if you continue to click on elements, you will zoom in. So that's also available. And last but not least, um, if you start zooming out, and you hit that little indicator here with a, a button click that also toggles the mode. So there's a couple of options uh, to go back and forth. Um, and I'm really curious what you think about uh, that op uh, option, but um, I've used it for a while now and it's very hard uh, for me to go back. Um, so I, I, I'm very happy with, with that uh, uh, improvement. Um, yeah, so kind of to sum up, um, what we focused on was better readability on those title elements as well as uh, the headers, uh, both for Agile planning module as well as uh, the swim lanes. Uh, there is some performance impact, but I think as people will start uh, cleaning up or will be able to start cleaning up their large workspaces, um, I think uh, the overall uh, performance will improve for those workspaces. It just requires a little bit of cleanup uh, of things that are now hopefully uh, have become obsolete. Um, and with that, uh, I'll end this video.